Live from WSLS, this is Virginia Today from 10 News, working for you. College basketball is here. A look at our teams hitting the hardwood this week. Plus, cannabis-based products in stores. Popular drugstore chain putting it on shelves. Good morning and happy Friday to you. We thank you for waking up with us. I'm Patrick McKee. Jenna is off this morning. Winds, you're going to notice those as you step out the door this morning. I'll give you a live look over the Roanoke Valley this morning. You see the camera shaking around. Let's learn more about this. Chris Michaels in the Weather Center. He's working for you as you plan your day. Chris, how long is this wind sticking around? It's going to stick around through at least today, and you can actually see behind me it's already howling, especially along into the west of the parkway. That's where a newly issued wind advisory is in effect. All the areas in beige that you see right there from 6 a.m. today until 6 a.m. tomorrow, that's where we have the wind advisory. Could see peak wind gusts anywhere from 35 to 50 miles per hour. We first told you about that yesterday morning on Virginia Today. Right now, sustained wind speeds anywhere from 15 to 25 miles per hour, and you can really see how the Blue Ridge is the dividing line there because the wind isn't quite as bad as you make your way to Lynchburg or south side. So as we're planning out your day, temperatures in the 40s this morning, we make our way into the low to mid 50s this afternoon, but the wind is going to keep on going. We'll let you know how that makes a difference by the time we get to tomorrow morning coming up in the full forecast. But in the meantime, uh, the wind is kind of howling, but the traffic kind of smooth so far. So far, so good. Hang on to that steering wheel, though, as you head out and about this morning. Let's give you a look at time saver traffic this morning. Green showing up, which means things are moving along just fine. Just a couple of slowdowns. It looks like on 460 near Blacksburg. March Madness, it's here. 10 sports team has been getting has been busy catching up with our local teams in the NCAA tournament. Sports director John Apicello has the latest from California on the Hokies and the Flames. Virginia Tech's road to the big dance wasn't always paved, but they arrive in San Jose as the four seed in the East and nearing full strength just in the nick of time. The Hokies all time assist leader trotted out on the SAP center floor like a man finally coming home after a long journey. Justin Robinson spent 12 games watching and waiting with a foot injury. The senior is now ready to do whatever his body will let him in this his final big dance. Emotional in the sense that I'm going to try to do everything in my will for us not to lose, meaning that I've been out 12 games and haven't been able to play. I think. Um, just the idea of knowing it's win or go home, I think we'll much rather take the pressure of pain rather than the pressure of regret. Our practice has been good. He's flowing well. Uh, he's not forcing the issue. He's uh, kind of getting his foot, feet wet a little bit, um, picking his times, and, and his flow is coming, but uh, it doesn't feel like he was out for a long time. It's like riding a bike. You know, as soon as he got back on the court, I immediately felt his presence and um, felt better with him out there with me because uh, I've been at Tech for four years now, and I'm just used to playing with him more than other guys. We learned how to play without him, so with him, it's just going to be even better. A Sun Champ Liberty enters the game's biggest stage after a two-year run that included a heartbreaking loss in the Big South final a year ago. Coming off that loss, they upgraded their schedule to include Vandy, Alabama, UCLA, and Georgetown. That competition helped get this team tournament ready. We have a, a great group of guys. Uh, we have very high character on this team, and I think that our maturity has really grown from last year. Um, that has something to do with the coaches. Uh, I think that they really instilled that into us. Um, I just think that the determination and the fight that we had after that loss that we had during the summer and then to carry on through the practices that we had leading up to conference, I thought were really good. felt like with the team that played last year, we, we were fairly competitive and we had a good group. and felt like we would have a pretty competitive team uh, this coming season, and that that bore out to be true, and uh, I think those games, without doubt, Damon, they, they helped us. Mississippi State head coach Ben Hallen described Liberty as a handful. We'll take a closer look at that matchup, plus Virginia Tech's matchup with St. Louis starting on 10 News at 5. In San Jose, John Apicello, 10 Sports. We're going to have more from UVA playing in South Carolina coming up at 5.30. Several people are facing charges this morning as part of a 12 hour patrol in Franklin County. These four men you see them here on your screen are all facing drug charges. The sheriff's office says the patrols on March 11th were a way to increase their visibility on certain roads. It resulted in is it resulted rather in 14 summonses, 15 drug related charges, 15 misdemeanor arrests and nine felony arrests. 
The Pulaski County Sheriff's Office needs your help this morning. They're trying to identify the woman you see here on your screen. Deputies say she stole an extensive list of home supplies and walked out of the store without paying for any of it. If you know who she is or have any information, you're asked to call the Sheriff's Office. Happening today, the suspect in last February shooting at Marjorie Stillman Douglas High School in Florida will appear in court. 19 year old Nicholas Cruz has been charged with 17 counts of premeditated murder in connection to the attack at his former school. Investigators say Cruz was armed during his rampage with an AR-15 style semi-automatic rifle and multiple magazines. He bought the rifle legally at a federally licensed gun store in Broward County. A motive in the shooting remains unclear. We have a consumer alert for you this morning as CVS is now selling, selling cannabis based products. The drugstore chain partnered with manufacturers to carry a line of topical products infused with CBD. The line includes creams, sprays, roll-ons and lotions. In a statement, CVS specified it's not selling any CBD supplements or food related products. CBD is derived from the cannabis plant and considered non psychoactive. This will not be in Virginia, but in nearby states like Tennessee and Maryland. New this morning, there's a new warning for frequent marijuana users. Scientists find daily cannabis use as well as high potency pot appears to increase the risk of psychosis. Their data finds people who use marijuana every day were three times more likely to have a psychotic episode than those who never smoked it. Daily users of high potency pot had a five times higher risk of psychosis. New this morning, a New Hampshire man came up with an innovative idea to make a surfboard out of nearly 1,000 Dunkin' Donuts styrofoam cups. Corey Nolan has a new toy to hit the waves with this year. The Dunkin' Donuts creation was part of an international contest out of California to make something for surfing out of trash. After three months of heavy labor, he ended up taking second place in the competition. I did have a few people who um, who reached out, told me that it wasn't going to work. And I just hope that it spreads a message to consider the things that you use on a day to day basis and where it goes. Nolan used a mold to press the cups into thick sheets. He then glued them together and added fiberglass for the finish. Nolan says the surfboard's about 15 pounds and floats really well in the water. Nice work. It's 507 now in what's news today. The 28th annual Civil War weekend kicks off at the end of Virginia Tech. There will be expert speakers, book signings and more. The theme for this year's event is Civil War leadership. It runs through Sunday. Legal scholar and author Alan Dershowitz will speak at convocation this morning at Liberty University. Convocation begins at 1030 in the Vine Center. Two NASCAR drivers will sign autographs at a Kroger store in Martinsville. Ryan Priest and Chris uh, Boucher will be at the store on Commonwealth Boulevard from 530 to 630. People from First United Methodist Church will also be at the store for a shopping competition. The food they collect will go to the church's food pantry. And Angels of Assisi takes its mobile clinic to Montauk County today. It offers affordable vaccinations. The clinic will be at the Buchanan Fairgrounds today from 9 until 2. If you're looking for a new job, there's a job fair today where you can meet with recruiters from several local companies. It runs from noon to five the Pilgrim Baptist Church Family Life Center. Turning now back to your forecast, a breezy start to the day. Chris Michael is working for you to tell you how long this wind is going to stick around. We hope not long. Uh, unfortunately, I got bad news for you. It's going to stick around at least all day today, and we're going to be fairly breezy tomorrow as well. Tracking an area of low pressure right around the Big Apple, and behind that, the wind really coming in out of the northwest and then accelerating once it pushes down the mountains. So for today, we're looking at wind speeds anywhere from 15 to 25 miles per hour, this being mainly west of the parkway, with wind gusts anywhere from about uh, 35 to 45 miles per hour hour. Some higher gusts on the ridge top certainly can't be ruled out. So the wind making the difference in more ways than one. We're going to talk about what places could see wind chills in the teens tomorrow morning, then eventually a spring like return. But I don't know about you guys, but I'm waiting on the lamb because the lion's been pretty, pretty busy here this March. We're going to let you know if the lamb makes a presence here as we get closer to the last week of March coming up in the full forecast. Hopefully the lamb arrives soon. Thank you, Chris. Time now is 509 still to come this morning. It's almost vacation season. Thank goodness, right? The five ways to save as you plan your summer trip. 
and lending a helping hand. People in Danville are making a difference across the nation. God's pit crew's impact on flooding victims in Nebraska. Plus a closer look at school spending. What local school board members are saying about the amount of money being spent on overtime.